so I wasn't sure if I should really do um, this video or not I know everyone's kind of doing like the best of like beauty hair skincare all those things for 2015 and I feel like you guys don't really watch my like monthly favorites that much um so I don't know if this is something you guys would like but it's a video that I've enjoyed watching so I thought I would just do it anyway I think I'm going to try to do like a series of them so today I'm going to do the beauty and then I'm going to do um like skincare and hair yeah so I'm going to try to do that and yeah so I don't know if you guys can tell but my hair is very big and it's kind of looks a little different so I chopped the rest of my relaxed hair off um I don't know I'm still I don't know if I should say still kind of getting used to it or I don't know like I don't feel like that amazing feeling like everyone feels when they cut it maybe because I've been transitioning for so long and I didn't have too much relaxed hair left like the back part of my hair was pretty much all grown out I just had a lot of relaxed hair at the top um, and this is my second time trying to film the first time I tried to film after I cut my hair I did a flat twist and I guess the ends where you know I cut the line of demarcation it was just so dry and frizzy I was like there's no like I couldn't I couldn't do anything with the hair so I couldn't film this time I did individual twists and I just kind of really really moisturized the ends um, it still doesn't look as good as I would love it to I just I guess I just have to kind of play around with it see if products work differently in it or I don't know but yeah, I'm 100% natural. That's so weird to kind of say. Like the one thing I do enjoy is that I don't have to use, uh, I don't really have to use rollers at the ends anymore because the ends just kind of curl up because the relaxed hair is gone. So that's really nice. But yeah, I don't know. Um, this is also the first time I've ever done my hair in a middle part um, with like a natural state. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's okay. I wish it was like more defined and I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I got to play around with it, get used to it, see, you know, if products work any differently in it now. Try some new products. And yeah, so, okay, enough rambling. So today I'm going to do my best of, I guess, best of beauty 2015. Um, I have a lot of stuff but I don't feel like it's that much in comparison to like a lot of the other videos I've seen so aside from me rambling right now hopefully this won't be too long but um if it is I mean all, honestly like all the videos I've seen of these best of have been like 30 40 minute videos so at least I know that I'm not the only one making a long video if this does turn out to be long so Okay, so let's just jump into my faves. So there are a lot of products that I have tried throughout the year um, because I'm a product junkie. But these are the ones that I feel like I was just like obsessed with. Like, So as far as um, powder foundation goes, this was like my favorite. Like it's still my favorite right now. This is a, the MAC um, Mineralized Foundation, the loose one. And this is in dark. And I just love to use this if it's a day when I just you don't want to let my skin breathe or I want a powder foundation but I don't want like a pressed powder that's going to give me like a ton of coverage you can get coverage from this but for me I just like to lightly dust it over my face after I've done my concealer and I just think it gives like a really pretty finish um I do think I want to do like a powder foundation routine so if that's something you guys are interested in let me know because I think I want to use this and just kind of show you guys how I use it um next okay this Josie Marin powder um you know she has a whole line of her matchmaker so it kind of like adjusts to your skin color this was a really good one that I did love and I would just use this to lightly set my makeup you can also use it too just to kind of go over your concealer if you want a powder foundation day um I use a brush but it also has a sponge that you can use if you want to get more coverage and I have medium dark and there's SPF in this too. I was obsessed with this Makeup Forever bronzer. This is probably like the only bronzer that I have used since I bought it like in the summer. This Makeup Forever bronzer, I absolutely love. It's not only is it waterproof, but it's like so subtle. It's not super powdery, but it's not cream. So it just kind of like seamlessly blends into your skin. It doesn't look orange, doesn't look cakey. It just looks like very natural and bronzed. And I have 30M. I think it's like barely on there now, but I have 30M. And this is this is just like the best bronzer that I have found all year. 
there's a few highlighters that I really enjoyed using this year. So the first one that I was like, oh my god, I'm so obsessed with was this one from MAC. And this was one that I would have never purchased because um, I thought I liked more like golden tones. But this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scape, And it's so pretty. Like I guess I found that highlighters that are this light, I mean it looks like it's white and it would look really ashy. But it just gives like a really pretty subtle glow. I don't like that crazy like super duper glow. I just like something kind of subtle. So this was amazing. Something like I said I never thought I would like um, or would even look at. But I really loved it. And this is also from MAC too. This is Global Glow. This was so pretty too. It looks kind of like pinkish. A little bit of gold in there. But it just gives such a pretty subtle glow. Um, yeah. And I loved it. This next one is a highlighter also. And this is from Josie Marin. And it's the Argan Enlightenment Illuminating Veil. Once again, just gives you a very subtle glow. And it's that kind of champagne-y type of color. Um, and she also has this in a liquid form and a stick form. I am wearing this one today, if you guys can see. And I have the stick one on first, and then I um, topped it off with powder, and I really love it. Next, okay. This next um, one is a setting powder, and it's nothing new. But this is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. But this is the pressed one. I used to always use the um, the loose one, which everybody, you know, raves about. But then I don't know. Like, I heard about the pressed one. I was like, oh, let me try that one out. And I think, like, for me, this one just is much more, like, I don't know, more, like, subtle and just, like, light. It's not as, like, thick or cakey or... I don't know. I've just really been loving this one. It's great for travel. That's what I love, too. I use it a ton this summer when I was traveling. Um, and it's just easy to just pop in your makeup bag and go. You don't have to worry about the mess of, like, the loose powder. This next powder um, product, I don't even know if they still make this because I got this so long ago. But I've just really been loving it this year. And I'm wearing it today. If you guys can see um this is the benefit eyeshadow like i said i haven't seen these in so long so i don't know if they just stopped carrying them in the stores or and they still have them online i'm not sure um but this is rich beach and this is just a velvet eyeshadow and i like it because i don't know it's just so soft and smooth and it's subtle you guys if you watch my videos you know that i don't really do like a lot of heavy makeup i don't do like a ton of stuff on the eyes most of the time I just do a bronzer in the crease um, and that's pretty much it. But this one I've really been loving and lately I've been using it wet too which I think just like brings out the pigmentation a little bit more but it's just very subtle and simple just kind of gives you a little bit of a glow without looking like too dramatic. This next one I used a lot in the summer um, and it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear and of course this is one that everyone raves about especially if you are oily. Um, but I just really like this one. It, I don't put a ton of it on so it would give you that coverage and the nice finish and it controls your oils without looking too like heavy and cakey because I do like a somewhat of a natural look. Like obviously you can tell I have makeup on but it's not like bam in your face like oh my god so much makeup and which can happen with this but I would use this very lightly. Yeah and I just I really liked it. Okay the next one. This one is another one that's amazing for oily skin. This is the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder. Oh, if you guys want to know what shade I'm in this, I'm in 4W2 Toasty Toffee. If I'm going kind of fast too, sorry. I just don't want to make this video too long. Because um, as my sister mentioned in the sister tag, if you haven't watched that link below, she said that I can be very long-winded, which I'm aware of, but it's just like a hard habit to break. Um, so I'm going to try to go through these kind of quickly. But as I was saying, this is the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation Mattifying Oil Free from Hourglass. And I have Warm Beige. This is really great. If you just want to minimize the oil that's coming off your skin or that's seeping through your skin, coming off your skin, seeping through your skin throughout the day because you're very oily. But you want like a very finished, pretty look and you don't want to have to set it with powder. This is what you need because it's like a liquid to powder. So obviously it's a liquid foundation that you pump out but it just kind of sets like a powder which is why I guess it kind of absorbs oils in your skin so you don't have to use a powder on top of it you can use like one of those diffused light powders or you know those 
the the ambient lighting powders diffuse is one of the ones that you can use but the ambient lighting powders um you can like dust one of those over to give you like a nice glow this one is the lancome tint edo ultra 24 um and i am in the shade 450 suede nude this one is really pretty i like this one if i want like a very finished look um, like if I have someplace special to go, I can wear this on an everyday basis too, but this one I kind of pull out when I just want this super finished, like done up kind of look to go someplace special. Um, and the next one I have is also from Lancome as well. And this one, literally I was like obsessed with this when I got it because I'm like, I never thought of trying it. As I said, this is from Lancome as well. And this is the Nude Miracle. Um, it's a liquid to powder makeup weightless feel bare matte finish. And this wasn't something that was like on my list of things to try, but one of the girls at Sephora told me to try it and I love it. It has a dropper and it's crazy because it gives you that nice coverage. It's great for oily skin, as I said, because it's like a liquid to powder and it has a matte finish, but it has a matte finish, but it's still very glowy and it's like when you put it on your face, you're like, you're, it's like it's on your face, but it's so light and natural that you're not really sure if you put it on your face you're like wait is it on my face you're not sure but it just looks so good it just this is just like an amazing foundation like i have just been obsessed with this and i think i'll continue to be obsessed with it i haven't tried any other foundation since i bought this one because i love it so much so if you're looking for a good foundation try this out and this one is 450 nude as well i think the lancome foundations well, I've only tried two, but I think they're really, really good. And the color matches, I think, are great. Okay, next I'll do uh, concealers. Okay, so this first one is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream. And I have the color Coffee. So it comes in a little pot like this. And it's just a cream concealer. I don't use this under my eyes all the time you could like I will use this under my eyes if I want like just like if I'm in a rush and I just want like to conceal really quickly I don't care about highlighting or anything and then I want to dust some pot over it but I just like this one because I'll take like a um you could use a concealer brush or I will take like a smaller foundation brush and just tap it into this and just cover those little areas or those big areas because y'all know I got issues with scarring and acne sometimes but um I'll just cover those areas with this and it just gives good coverage it's fast it's easy like I said I can do it under my eyes as well and then I'll just you know kind of give me like one whole even color um, I don't put it all over my face like foundation although you probably could like I said I just put it on the areas that I feel like have some kind of discoloration or scarring and then I just powder over it and it's so simple like it's super easy fast and it's just so handy and little to take with you Okay, the next one I have is by Naked Skin. A lot of people were able to do out this one. This is the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer by Urban Decay, and it's light diffusing. This is the one I do have on now, and I have medium dark warm, and I like this one. Like, it's not thick. It's not heavy. Um, I like the applicator. You can basically take it out one side sweep on the other side sweep on you don't have to keep dipping in to get more so that's really convenient especially if you're in a rush and yeah it does crease because i think one of the things that it says that it doesn't crease i can't remember but i think they say that this doesn't crease but it definitely does crease on me at least i've yet to find a concealer that doesn't crease at all um but i like it the next concealer is this is a bare minerals bare skin complete coverage serum concealer um this one I really love too. This one I was kind of unsure about at first. I bought it, tried it, and I was like, uh, don't like it. And then I just held on to it for so long, and I was like, let me try it one more time before I take it back. Tried it again, I was like, oh my gosh, I actually really love it. Because this just gives you like a super like natural highlighted look. Like it's not thick, it's a serum concealer, like it says. So it's not very thick, but it's gonna give you that highlight effect or that coverage that you need without looking like you're trying to do too much. The next concealer I have, this is the Smashbox 24 Hour CC Spot Concealer, and this is waterproof, which is great. And what I like about this is the applicator is very, it's like a, like a very fine pinpoint kind of one. So if you just have like minimal spots you want to cover, or you just really want to target a specific area without like putting too much on it, 
you just dab it on there blend it in and it also too works to help diminish the um it helps diminish the marks on your skin over time which i don't wear often enough because i don't wear makeup every day so i don't wear often enough to know if it's really helping to diminish the scars but like i said i do like the applicator and that it's just really simple it's lightweight it's not heavy and i would just put this on like after i've done my foundation if there's still some areas that i feel are kind of peeking through that i want to cover i would just dab those on there and it it covers it so the next thing I'll show you guys is um, another concealer and this is by Black Up and I have the second one. I think there's three of them in the line and I have number two. But I really love this and I had been looking at this at Sephora for a while and I was like, oh, I don't know if I would really like it. Um, but then when they had that VIB Rouge sale, I decided to try it and I've been obsessed with it. And I love it because it's cream but it has everything you need. It has like the correcting color has like a highlighting color or not even highlighting but you could highlight with it or just a deeper one it has like three shades of brown basically um so for me i will take the orange color like it gives you a little booklet and it tells you how to mix the colors so i'll take the orange and i'll take these two and i'll mix them all together and then i'll cover any areas that i feel have any kind of discoloration or scarring and then if i want to contour my nose um i will use the deepest one to contour my nose so you could use this for you could use this highlight under your eyes you can just basically use this anywhere on your face and you can mix and match the colors to just have everything you need in one so i think that's so handy it's totally worth it i'm so glad that i tried it and i love it so the next one i'm going to show you guys is a brow pencil and this is the brow Wiz by anastasia beverly hills and this is the color dark brown um i'm sure you guys have seen this one of my favorite brow pencils i love it i love how precise this is then I can just like easily get into the areas that I need to neaten up or fill in a little bit and then I love that it has this oop <laughs> I love that it has a spoolie on the other side so I always get this and then the other brow pencil that I always buy too is by Sephora and it's soft charcoal and this one it doesn't have the brush it has a little comb which really has no use but it does have the little fine um, pencil at the other side too just like the Anastasia one but this one is waterproof and it's cheaper I think it's like $12 as opposed to maybe like 19 or 20 for the Anastasia one so this is a really good dupe for the Anastasia one but it's a little better because it's waterproof but I always keep both of these in my um, with my makeup just because if I do have somewhere to go like in the summer or something with water or it's hot outside and I just, I mean, your brows are not really going to sweat off, but I just like to have a waterproof one. It just comes in handy. So the next eye product I have is just this um, Rimmel, I think it's one of those Kajol, Kajol, Cold Kajol liners and this is waterproof, scandalized. I don't know if it's really waterproof because it does fade in my waterline, but I do like the color of it. It's not like stark white. It's a little bit, um, I don't know, kind of like a creamy color. So it, it just kind of brightens up your eyes and just makes you look a little bit more awake. Um, what do I have next? Okay, next thing I have is primers. So the primers that I've really been loving, primers and oil okay I should show oil in my skincare one but I'm gonna show it in makeup one because this is the oil that I use when I do my makeup so ever since my skin became really it's still oily but it, it can be really dry as well um you know when you use acne products it tends to dry out your skin so a lot of times I will mix an oil in with my foundation and this one is the Aubrey revitalizing therapy serum for dry skin and this is the rose hip seed oil which is really good for acne prone skin and it's like how small and cute it is it's easy to just throw in your bag if you have somewhere to go with your makeup or just to keep with your makeup it doesn't take a lot of space and it just works like it blends beautifully with this one it blends beautifully with everything every foundation I've tried it with but lately I've been trying it with this one and it just looks so amazing so glowy and hydrated and really pretty Okay, so the next primer that I have loved, this one is by Cover FX, and over the summer, I loved blending this in um, with my Estee Lauder. You can put these on your face alone and then put your like foundation or whatever over it, but I think it's so convenient and easy just to mix the two together. Um, so this is the Cover FX Illuminating Primer, 
and yeah it just gives you like a nice subtle glow and illumination without looking like too sparkly or too heavy so this next one I looked at for quite a while and I wasn't sure if I really wanted it just because I felt like everything I read about it and when I tested it out it was just like another moisturizer and I'm like I don't need an additional moisturizer to put on top of my skin routine moisturizer but then when my skin got really really dry and I was looking for a primer that was going to hydrate my skin I was like let me try this and I really really love it because it's not as thick as a moisturizer but it's still going to hydrate your skin, help your makeup stay on, and just kind of like give you that extra hydration that you need if your skin is dry. Because my skin had gotten really, really dry. And when it's dry, the makeup tends to cling to those dry patches. And then it just looks a mess and you have to start over. But this really, really helps. So I really love this one. So the last, okay, not the last, but the second to last thing that I'll talk about is lip products. So if you guys watch my videos, you'll know that I rarely wear a lipstick. I have a ton of lipsticks, but for me, I don't know, like I just love a nice gloss and I love a nice nude gloss because most colors, because my lips are pigmented, most colors just kind of blend into my own lip color. So everything I wear is pretty nude. Um, I wear lipstick on occasion, but I just, for me, I just feel like when I wear lipstick, it's just doing too much and I got to make sure it's not on my teeth and it's just so extra for me so I just love a gloss and then it you know the gloss is just like more of like that natural glowy look for me that I like okay the lip products that I just was like obsessed with and really loving last year I have one lip liner which is from MAC and this is Whirl I've had this forever um and I never used it but then I, I started using it with this lip gloss which is by Bare Minerals and it's um the Marvelous Moxie Buttercream and this is Tantalizing Honey. They just pair so good together like the World Liner and this um, lip gloss I swear are like my perfect nude. It's just like it's like your lips but better but it just looks so glowy and pretty and natural and I just was like obsessed with that combo. I have um, this other one too. This is another Bare Minerals but this is a Marvelous Moxie in rebel i was really obsessed with this color as well it's just like a pretty pink and keep in mind these colors will probably show up much different on you guys than me or someone whose lips are not pigmented as much as mine are um it's gonna look different on everybody else for me like i said they're nudes for someone else you might actually see the color really well but for me you don't see the color really well but um yeah this is the other one by bare minerals that i really really loved next i've been obsessed with these for a really long time these are the clinique um long lasting glosses and the reason i love these i have like a ton of these but these are the three that i think i liked the most this past year um but i like them because i would layer these over a, a revlon lip butter which i was obsessed with for so long too um and they just look so pretty they're just they last long they don't wear off too fast um and they just give you like a pretty pretty glossy shine so the colors I have here are guava gold as you can see I use that one a lot this next one I have is air kiss and this is kind of like a pinky peachy kind of iridescent type of color and then the next one is first date which is just like a really pretty pink and I have this one on today with a um I think a Makeup Forever lip liner, but yeah, this is the one I'm wearing today. Lastly, I have mascaras. So, these are the mascaras that I've really been loving. This mascara I've really, really loved. Still kind of obsessed with it. It's by Benefit and it's the Roller Lash Mascara. I was hesitant to try this one because the benefit they're real which everybody raved about i tried that and it just didn't work well for my lashes but when i tried this one i really really loved it and i love the fact that the brush has like kind of like two different sections i don't know if you can see that not only is it kind of curved so that part is curved and it'll grab those lashes but then it has like shorter parts underneath that are really good to kind of like grab the base of your lashes or kind of get your lower lashes as well the next one is by Urban Decay and it's the Perversion Bigger Blacker Batter. I really really love this one. It's more of a wetter um, mascara but it just really gives you that like pretty um, like dark look on your lashes and I like it. 
The last one is Oldie But A Goodie. It's the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. This is a drugstore mascara that I always go back to, um, whether you use it alone or together. Like today I have these two combined. But it just has like a big brush, but it has like a, a rubber type of brush um, with small bristles on them. And it just gives you like that full voluminous lash that sometimes you're looking for. I feel like my lashes are really long. So a lot of times I'm not so much searching for length because that happens with the mascara naturally, but I want more so like volume. So this really just like volumizes it and makes it look like full and thick. And oh, two more things, setting sprays. I almost forgot about these. Um, so this one I've really been loving. This is, I guess it can be a setting spray, but it's a primer. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I've gone through several bottles of these. Um, I really love it. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't irritate my skin. It's a primer, so you can literally use this to prime your skin and then be done. And it's hydrating and priming your skin all in one. I like to use this. Sometimes I use it to prime my skin. Sometimes I use it just to rehydrate my skin. Um, I always use this to after I'm done doing all my makeup to kind of make sure that I don't have like that powdery cakey look. I think I've said I really love it a lot. So sorry if I repeated myself saying I really love it or it's really good, but I guess that happens when you're doing like your favorites of the year, so. Okay, the last thing I have is another oldie but a goodie is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Water. Before I discovered the um, primer water from Smashbox, I used to use this the way that I use that one, but now I only, I only? <laughs> now I only just use this to wet my brushes or my sponge. Um, there's nothing wrong with using it on your face. That's what it's meant to do. But I just love to use this to wet my brushes before I apply my makeup. So I think that's it. I think I might have um, been talking really fast. Hopefully you guys got everything that I said. Hopefully you guys like this video and you enjoy it. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram and on my lips too. I have started like a whole new account just for my channel just to kind of give you guys updates or just put more like stuff related to the videos that I'm doing on there. Please make sure you are subscribed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it. Share it with your friends. Um, hope you guys are having an awesome day. If you guys have any tips for hair for me, for, um, I don't know, I don't want to say so much learning to deal with your natural hair because I feel like, I think that's why I don't feel like this like, oh my gosh, this huge weight of relief is because I've just been treating my hair as natural hair for like the past like 25 and a half months that I've been transitioning um, and I've just been like cutting, cutting away for the past to 25 and a half months so I don't know I think that's why it's just like I don't feel that like relief yet I still gotta I guess I guess learn to kind of work with the fact that there's no relax here I don't know it's like it's a weird feeling I don't know tell me if you guys understand what I'm saying or not um it's just like a weird feeling I don't feel like super relieved but I don't feel like oh my god I'm all natural like it's still kind of like kicking in I guess I don't know it's weird but um yeah, any tips you guys have would be great. If you guys have any tips on that dryness from where you cut, that's the thing. Like, I know when I first started transitioning, I kind of dealt with a bit of that dryness in my hair. Um, but this was just like the ends, which was so weird. So, I don't know. If you guys have any tips on that, let me know. I would love to hear your tips. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.